Okay, so just how big of an Astros fan are you? Well, big enough to put seven months into a painting project? Mm-hmm. ABC 13's Adam Winkler live here in our studio to introduce us to the homeowners who don't have to go to Minute Maid Park for their ballpark view. Adam? Gina, Eric, we're just days away from the official start of spring. Spring break is already here for a lot of us. This is a time of year many folks in our area are spending time and spending money to improve their front or backyard. One family in Alvin went next level with that task. Steps away from Alvin High School, alma mater of Nolan Ryan, the home of Freddy Valdez features a Houston sports display as eye-popping as Nolan's fastball. I'm blessed to have a wife that allows me to do this. You know, I don't think too many people allow their, their husbands to have their man cave in their living room or the whole house. I'm like a little kid when it comes to, uh, when I walk in my house, I see all my sports stuff. And now the 57-year-old Astros super fan can be like a little kid when he walks out his house too. It was way beyond my expectations. When Freddie told his wife Jennifer he wanted to paint the Astros logo on their backyard fence, she suggested hiring a real artist to do it. The real big project went to Darren Smith. It was definitely a, a, a massive endeavor going into it. Darren tells us it took him nearly 30 sessions, each lasting seven or eight hours, to paint this lifelike mural of the behind home plate view of Minute Maid Park. That's a whole lot of time. And time is not something Smith has. See, art is not his full-time job. Aside from this, I also work as a personal trainer and a tumbling coach for a local cheer team. Uh, I'm also a, a father of a six-year-old daughter. Uh, so my time is a little bit spread out. Unfortunately, this is a, a very part-time at the moment. But Freddie says Darren should plan to find the time to come back and do more work on his fence later this year. No, the mural is perfect, but it's also partial. Painting metal on wood, making it look realistic. Freddie specifically asked Darren to include the Astros' two World Series trophies. In that vacant space to the left, that was intentional too. That was perfectly done like that because uh, I plan on more trophies coming in. So maybe this year, 2024, 20, uh, add another one. So we'll be calling Darren back at, uh, after October. Freddie Valdez, who already displays Astros fandom on his walls, his skin, Houston Astros, and his fence, appears to have room for more. All right, so as cool as it looks on your screen, I can tell you it is even better in person. And this is Southeast Texas, so we know the weather can be extreme. Darren tells us he finished his artwork with a waterproof clear coat, so despite whatever curveballs our climate throws at us, this fence should be a hit for several years. I'm Adam Winkler, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.